<clears throat> it was a very successful meeting we had with them. Firstly, we presented the story of South Africa, and they, they asked questions, uh, all the questions that they needed to ask, and made comments that they needed to make. Generally, <clears throat> they are very warm towards South Africa. They are ready to go to South Africa. Many of the people who were speaking were saying their companies are in South Africa. And they are therefore happy that uh, we are improving the conditions, particularly of the interaction with the investors. They believe South Africa is a place to go. And also that for them to get to Africa better, uh, going via South Africa is to them an important thing to do. Well, they, they normally raise <clears throat> that when they do business, at times they've got to go to a number of departments, it is time consuming, etc. Now we have established a one center uh, where in all different departments, whatever they are looking for, they will find in one place, which they have uh, agreed that it is a, a step forward. Team South Africa came with one message, uh, which was very important for investors because even their colleagues, the business people, were telling the same story. They, they know that our policies are fine, uh, there is certainty. All they want is that we should speak in the same voice um, <clears throat> as South Africans. The meeting that we held with them as the foreign direct investors, they, they don't have a problem. <clears throat> I think they, they might have had a problem on, on the perceptions as well, here and there given the fact that uh, uh, there were certain things that happened in the country, but they believe that our interaction, our interpretation and interventions that we made clarified the issues. So they don't have a problem. That's why I'm saying they have received us very warmly. And they, they, they believe that indeed South Africa is a destination for investment. And this is what everyone is saying, that the team South Africa has in fact been felt. It has been felt because it is conveying the same message, a positive message, confidence about what is happening. And it is also helpful if the private sector from South Africa shows confidence to its own government. I think that goes a long way uh, to convey a positive message to other investors. So that has been very positive. I think the, the message from South Africa has been received very positively by everyone. Uh, here in Davos. They are even looking forward, they told us, uh, in a meeting <coughs> of the CEOs, they are looking forward to the State of the Nation Address, as well as the budget speech by the Minister of Finance, uh, to be in line with what we had, they had here as a message, because they say that will be very important for them. So they'll be paying attention. I think they'll be looking at the consistency of the message more than anything, really, because they've got the message, I think that they realize that down the line we will be talking to the country and they are just, I think they are letting us that they will be also putting an eye and ear uh, to what would be said then in relation to what they have heard. Will it be consistent with what they heard? Shall we be dealing with the issues that are the issues which they believe need to be dealt with or clarified in those kind of policy statements? One of the <clears throat> business persons or in charge of business organizations was saying that uh, it is always important to hear what the government is saying um, because at times people might read things differently. Even the rating agencies, they were very happy to hear the real details of what is happening in the economy in South Africa, which helps them to sort of make up their minds when they take such decisions. So what we are looking for is an interaction after the, the visit to Davos to concretize some of the things we talked about. So after this, we are looking forward to interactions with the business inside the country as well as global businesses. The interest to South Africa is ever high. Uh, and therefore it's a question of how do we turn that into real concrete interaction, particularly with regards to the economy of our country.